now 105 and I just took my medications I don't feel like I'm fighting uh, for my life anymore um, I'm not scared that my husband is off at work uh, when I first started this I was absolutely terrified um, he is my biggest lifesaver and my biggest support. Um, I really do have a lot of love coming from my friends and especially from my husband. He has always been here um, putting me back together um, both emotionally and physically. Um, I Wow. I was I was terrified because I I took Valium, I took my Baclofen, I took my Klonopin. Um I took everything and I was still scared that I was gonna end up in the hospital because nothing was kicking in. And um then just drinking this tea that's filled with medical marijuana. Um, now I don't feel like I'm fighting for my life. And I truly believe that I'm going to be able to make it through the night. And tomorrow will go on. So, um, I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> just recording this because there really isn't enough information out there. Um, and literally, um, I, I don't want to go to the ER knowing that they have a hard time getting their hands on Valium. Uh, then the uh, quantities in which I have to take of that clonopin plus the narcotic. Um, I have been put on the like, um, I don't know, could possibly overdose whatever kind of um, checklist uh, that they, they always have to ask me about what I'm taking and is it too much? And honestly, I'm underdosing myself because of what's going on with our government. And um, I never expected to have to take these kinds of drugs in my life. I, um, I always wanted to stay... Um, just a normal, healthy person who went to college. Um, I, I've done so much with my life. I, I've I've been through a lot in my life, and I I also had a view at one point that these drugs were absolutely horrible things that needed to be banned, and now I'm living proof that. Wow, my mindset was completely wrong. Um, I don't know. I, uh, I need what is given to me. And I also need the team of doctors and my loving husband and friends in order to keep on living. And, um... That is how I have been able to survive to age 34 so far um, while dealing with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome or Danlos, however you want to pronounce it. Just look up EDS and Stiff Person Syndrome. You can always look up uh, Stiff Man Syndrome. Um, SPS, there's different names, uh, that one has far less information, 
and I actually found YouTube to be the most helpful because I was able to watch other people dealing with the things that I had to or have been and still do have to deal with. So, yeah, I really hope that this goes out and is able to help somebody someday. Thank you very much.